Hey, hey, hey guys, Modern Muffet here, how you doing? Lately, I've been having a fun time in Dead Island Riptide. A large part of my fun has been hacking the limbs off zombies. <laughs> Such sweet, innocent fun. Anywho, it got me thinking about the question, why won't God heal amputees? It can't be because all amputees are flesh-eating zombies, is it? <laughs> I'm sure Fox News or the National Enquirer would have told us by now. Now, I take no credit for this question. There is a very well-made and informative website that carries its name. It's linked in the description. Go check it out. In the name of balance, I also link a refutation to this site, so feel free to read that and make your own mind up. So, I'll outline the basics of the question and throw in a few of my usual uninformed fuckery thoughts on the way. Before I go any further though, if anyone watching this has a contrary opinion, I'd be more than happy to run a debate as part of my head to head series. Leave a comment and we'll get on it. You'll have an uninterrupted chance to give your position and debate. I'll even make sure you get the last word. Alright? So, yeah, if you're up for that, leave a comment. Uh, an interesting aside here is that the site used to be called Why Does God Hate Amputees? and was changed to Why Won't God Heal Amputees? And the reason that I find that interesting is that it demonstrates the rational mind can change its stance dependent on new information or new thinking, and the literalist mind that adheres to revealed truth as stated in holy books like the Bible pretty much sticks like shit to a shoe, it's eternally attached to what is stated if new information can only be argued against or attempted to be shoehorned into previous truths. But we'll leave that for another day and we'll have a look at why is this question important. The question is important because it removes any ambiguity. Medical science has no means to regrow a removed limb. Now if somebody prays for the tumour to disappear while at the same time undergoing chemotherapy, one side will say God did it and the other side will say medical science provided the cure. And ultimately, although reason tells us that medical science provided the cure, it can't be conclusively proven that it wasn't by the hand of God or some unseen supernatural force. Pretty much like Pope John Paul II stating that the maternal hand of Our Lady of Fatima guided his attacker's bullet to prevent him being killed. The rational among us may think that the team of highly qualified surgeons who worked on him for six hours may have actually been the cause of his recovery. Whatever stance you take, you can argue all day with one side saying, yeah, but God guided the hands of the surgeons or some such stuff. Now, if God heals an amputee, no such ambiguity can remain. No argument from either side. Now, I'm going to take a leap from the well thought out case presented by the site Why Won't God Heal Amputees and state that this test should be used to decide once and for all which is the real religion. All we need is a collection of amputees that represented the spectrum of religions. We get a Jew, a Muslim, a Christian, etc, etc. Gather a sufficient group of devout followers for each group, and then they pray their bollocks off until we have a winner. And BOOM! No more doubt as to who is the one and only God. And every alternative religion or atheist like me would be forced to once and for all just shut the fuck up. <laughs> what do you reckon? Now, is the existence of God even an important question? Well, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> if you'll forgive the expression, hell yeah. If there is a God, it is the single most important aspect of every person's life that exists now, has ever existed, or ever will exist. If, however, there isn't a God, mankind will continue to tear itself apart in wars, in individual and societal psychological health and the majority of people living on this planet have based their lives on a fantasy. Now, if God isn't going to be healing any limbs soon, maybe more money can be given to research scientists who endeavour to discover the secrets of limb regeneration in the animal kingdom. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, although we reputedly have dominion over all animals, they have to jump on us when it comes to limb regeneration. In the case of a certain salamander, I mean that literally, as they will regenerate whole legs that have been removed. So where should we as a society pump our money? Build bigger churches or build better labs? Hopefully, I've given you some food for thought today. Me, 
I'm going to carry on doing God's work and chop me some zombies up. Securing the knowledge that no God is going to be putting them back together again. Take it easy, guys. This is Muppet out. Bye.